I can remember correctly, I believe. Wow. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. What's up guys, Mac 111 and welcome back to another collection unboxing. So Alexander reached out to me about three weeks ago and was like, hey man, I have a collection that I'm looking to get rid of and I think my man used an entire roll of duct tape on this package, maybe two, because this thing is wrapped completely and then wrapped and again and then wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. This is actually going to be the last video done in Ohio because I'm going back to Indiana for like the foreseeable future. I was just home visiting for a little bit. So I've enjoyed my basement. Some of you have made fun slash comment on the disc golf disc. I think that's hilarious, but I appreciate you guys. Let's get into this unboxing. Oh. Alrighty, there we go. Now that it is taken out, uh, looks like this dude was literally using SpongeBob wrapping paper, which I think is hilarious. Also, a reminder, do not stab into the package. Uh, oopsie. You know it's going to be a good collection unboxing when there is a giant Crytek box that weighs like 30 pounds. Wow. All right, before we get into that, let's start with, I'm guessing these are some of the accessories slash external slash his gun bag. Um, this looks like it's an OD green. Like I said, I kind of stabbed it there a little bit. Oh, so this is his air rigs, his double air rigs. Alrighty, so up first it looks like we're going to look at his air setup. So these are just basic amped. Um, these are 48 3000 basic metal tanks, and they look really old. I'm not going to lie, but this one on here says it ha it's of this year. So it's this one that says that it's 06 of 20. So I don't know if this one is rehydroed. It has to have been rehydroed. And then this one actually does not have any marking on it. I'm not sure up here. It's got like a little bit, but some of it looks like it's faded. So I'm guessing they were purchased around the same time. But he also does have these as well. So he's got a basic black line with an amped SLP reg. And he's also running, actually, I've never seen this colorway before. This is like a silver and black kind of striped pattern a little bit. Um, it's almost like a whitish as well. It's like white, gray and silver depending on how you look at it and what light so pretty nice air setups and now what you're all looking forward to as well as myself if he managed to fit two guns in here he is a legend and i think if i can remember correctly i believe wow oh my goodness all righty this might be the most efficient packing of a crytac box that i have ever seen that is impressive Props, Alexander. Up first, gun number one. So it wouldn't be an Alec Mack 111 unboxing if this man did not have a Polar Star in his collection. Looks like this dude was running a flash. What? It's green? I was going to say, it looks like he's running a flashlight to send Doge to the moon or assist in that. I have never seen a green beeping flashlight before. That's crazy. Looks like you can kind of focus the beam. This is almost a square or you can kind of make it wider. That is crazy. Honestly, I have never seen that before. All my airsoft stuff says two beam long range series. Uh, don't know how long range it is. It's like eye protect, but that's actually really cool. Uh, the rest of it, Polar Star wise, is a GNG. Um, it's a GNG body. I actually like what he's done with this blue mag release there. I don't exactly know 100% what brand that is. He's got a silver speed trigger in it. And I believe this is a jack engine. I'm not exactly sure what version, but he is running a jack inside here. Yeah, it does look like he's running a jack engine in there. You can see by the black and then the skull right there. But it's a pretty sweet little setup. I like what he's kind of done. This is definitely super unique. It's just got a basic key mod rail system on there as well. These are the nicer, newer, like, GNG SRXL bodies. They definitely feel a lot more solid than the stock G and G ones. They are nice and light still. They're not quite as light, but they definitely feel a lot more rugged as there's literally twice as much plastic and it is like a nicer polymer instead of the cheaper combat machine bodies. So I pretty I like these pretty well. Um, they almost took the kind of old GMP pistol grip style. First gun of Alexander's, I would say is pretty successful. Definitely gave me a little surprise with this. Alrighty, accessory wise for his guns, looks like he is running a bunch of the Evike BAMF mags. I've actually never seen this color before, the green that's kind of in there. Um, he's got a bunch of those. Looks like he's got a Lancer Tactical mag right there. This one is also a Lancer Tactical mag, but it's a mid cap of some sort. He's got a mag brand mid cap, a bunch of these KWA ones, which are meh in my opinion. I have heard that the Gen 2 of the KWA K120s is actually better and their springs aren't as weak as those stock ones are, so maybe they got better. He's also included a bunch of batteries. Looks like he bought a ton of them from Valken. It looks like some of these, oh, they are open, but it's just like they kept the packaging for it. It looks like he's got two 
lipos right there. Those are probably for the next gun you're about to see. Secondly, he's got two FCU lipos and it also looks like he's running a basic 1600. This was probably before he turned the Polar Star into a Polar Star, but boy, do we have a sweet gun up next. You good? You stay. Up next, gun number two is a Crytac Chris Vector. I saw this in the collection and I was just like, dude, I love the Chris Vectors. They look so good. I actually really like this grip on here as well. This is like the Valken grip of some sort. And they have, it's kind of got like a pretty sharp angle there, which is really interesting. But it does have some sort of bungee, which is actually pretty cool. So if you want to kind of run your like laser or flashlights or pressure pad there, I've actually never seen these before. This That seems pretty innovative. Um, and they kind of just like wraps in there as well. But dude, these desert earth or dark earth or whatever they call uh, their tan ones are super, super cool. I've, this one is definitely like a coyote brown. This one is a little bit darker than the other tan ones that I've seen. I'm not sure if they make different tan ones, but it does just look a little bit darker in this lighting. But man, don't these things just look so, so good? Mm. This looks to be the way that he had it set up. It looks like there's some sort of tracer unit here. This one says that it's a kilo tracer unit, a Valken kilo tracer unit. This one's the smaller one. I'm guessing he was running this on the other gun. And then I'm not sure if this is a suppressor or a flash hider combo or whatever. Yeah, I can't tell if this is just a normal suppressor or if it actually has a tracer system in it. It does have some sort of spring, so I do know that it is at least foam filled, so it would be a little bit more suppressed but I can't tell if there's a tracer unit in the end of that or not. It does not have any markings whatsoever on the outside, but it looks like he might have only been running one tracer unit. And then obviously he's got like a smaller battery. I think this was the one that's used for the, once again, for that gun before he polar shard it. But this thing is absolutely beautiful. Honestly, this dude did a really good job with this collection. I think these are two awesome guns. They're definitely practical and serve their own purposes, but they're also cool, and they have his own little personal touches on them as well, especially with this big, thick light up here. Um, and they also did some really cool things with this vector, but I just want to thank you guys. Kind of take a minute. Um, we have gotten our videos up to like 3,000 views about every single video. Uh, last year, about six months ago, I was honestly at a point where I was at like a thousand views for every video. So it's nice to see some of you guys that have been consistent. I see your guys' comments consistently there. And if you're at the end of the video still, then I know you're a loyal sub and I appreciate you guys. But I just want to kind of take the time out of my day to say that because I appreciate you guys. Without you, I would not be doing these videos because I love being able to do the unboxings. But if you guys didn't support me, I wouldn't have an audience so I couldn't do anything by myself. But this has been Alec Mac 101. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good work, Dad. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? This is Alex Mac 111.